One thing we want to talk about is the fact that apartment marketers tend to just make all their stuff a bunch of propaganda. And I want to talk about their sparkling pool, their entry, and their apartment features. The problem with all of that is it's just, it's boring, boring, boring. There are many, many other things you can talk about. You kind of want to make your content interesting, similar to like a great movie or a great novel. Today, the prospect, they're just, they're just not going to listen to, to some of these crazy messages. Certainly, content rules, and because it helps you to be found on the internet and come up higher in search rankings, but if people don't read it, then it just doesn't matter. What's different today is everyone's a publisher. Anyone who has an iPhone, as an example, they can shoot a video, they can do a WordPress blog, they can do a podcast, all from their phone. Never in history have you been able to do that, and you always had to either rely upon the newspapers, the magazines, or anyone that was in sort of the, that publication industry. But today, you can actually do all that yourself. And so, one thing that a brand, that, that building your brand in media is, is the only thing that the, that the true publishers today have over on you is the fact that they have an audience. And so when we talk about building your own brand and media, we're really talking about you building your own digital footprint so that you have the audience that's a large enough audience so that as you need 15 prospects this month to, to backfill your apartment vacancy, you have enough of an audience that you are broadcasting to to fill those vacant spaces. You want to produce content to build your fan base and your followers. A lot of people in social media want to talk about how it's not about the numbers, it's about the engagement and the quality. And all that's true, but at the same time, if you don't have a large enough of a digital footprint of folks you're talking to, it doesn't matter. You don't, you don't have enough of a mast to make any difference. At Urbane, one of the things we've been able to do is amass a fairly substantial following. Our online magazines get somewhere around 40,000 page views a month, about 35,000 Twitter followers, and we've got about 6,000 Facebook fans. It becomes about the numbers, and you constantly want to be working on increasing those. What's interesting, too, is your message and your content it has to be, you have to solve someone's problems. You, need, you want to consider the prospect's thoughts, feelings, and needs. And if you start to fulfill those, people will start to follow you because you create value. One of the successes that we have had with providing enough leads and leases to fulfill our vacancy issues uh, that we have with our apartment portfolio is our online magazine is more about what's going on in the neighborhoods. and where's the best sushi restaurant, who, the best dry cleaner, those kind of things. It's never about uh, our apartments, which is kind of hard for folks to get their arms around. Your goal should be to engage, not repel people. People skip through commercials, you know, they have TiVo on their, their, their televisions, they have um, satellite radio, so you don't have to listen to commercials. But if you actually engage with, with folks, they will come to be your supporters. We want our leasing folks to know all the things that are going on locally. So that they, become, they can become great storytellers. If you're focusing on all things hyper-local, um, you're going to have an edge and an advantage. One of the things that's happened to us as we grow our digital footprint is we've been able to become media partners with different organizations. That's been an interesting experience for us, particularly this year. We just started doing it, but we're, we, we did one media partnership earlier in the year with a company called Dining in the D uh, that all of a sudden gave us access to about 40 different local restaurants and chefs. Uh, we were able to write stories about those, those restaurants and chefs. Um, 
we were able to to align our brand with the dining in the D brand that then led to another uh, media partnership with there's a really big festival here locally over uh, Labor Day weekend it's like a three-day festival draws in about a half a million people um, we're a media partner with them and so all of a sudden now our brand goes on their website right along side of all the newspapers the TV stations the radio stations and it's pretty cool um, but it also gives you access to further broaden and expand your digital footprint so things like building Facebook fans can be a challenge if you don't have things to give away well now being a media partner you start to get free things so we have an array of tickets as an example that we'll start to give away for this particular um, event coming up we're going to be sponsoring one of the um, one of the entrances so you know we're going to be tweeting and 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 so you start to create engagement with with different people whom you would have never been able to reach out to before and and so if you only have a few hundred followers and a few hundred fans you, you haven't created enough value to align yourself with with other with other media options people just don't want you to broadcast to them today so write something interesting and people will follow you thanks for coming to the show today